So we have a function from capital X to capital Y, and we have two subsets, A and B of capital Y, and we have to prove this equality of sets. Before we go into the proof, let's discuss the notation. So let's take a subset K of capital Y, and we're going to denote the inverse image of K, or the pre-image of K under F, with the following notation. And this is the set of all of the X's in capital X such that F of X is in K. So it's all of the X's that get mapped to K. Let's look at a picture to see if it will help with the understanding a bit. So this is capital X. This is called the domain. And this here will be capital Y. This is called the codomain. And we're being told that capital K is a subset of Y. So maybe this is capital K. And the inverse image, well, these are X's in the domain. So the inverse image is over here. So this will be the inverse image of K. So let's see what this means. So if X is in this set in the inverse image of K under F. So here's X. What does that mean? Well, it means that F of X is in K. So then this is F of X. So F takes X to F of X. So it's all of the X's in the domain that get sent to K. So if I take another value here, which we'll call it A, it'll get sent to f of a, etc. All right, let's go ahead and prove this statement. It should be a pretty easy proof, so proof. So let me write down the claim again. So the claim was that the pre-image or inverse image of a union b is the pre-image of a union with the pre-image of b, all under f. Let's go ahead and prove everything all at once. I believe we could do it. Yep. So note, X is in the pre-image or inverse image of A union B, if and only if F of X is in A union B. That's the definition. That's what it means to be in the pre-image. Let me scroll back up so you could see it. If X is in this set, this means that F of X is in K and vice versa. So we have an if and only if, so this works both ways. Let's keep going. So if and only if, well, what does it mean for F of X to be in the union? It means that F of X is in A or F of X is in B. And this is true if and only if X is in the inverse image of A under F or X is in the inverse image of B under F. If and only if. And what does this mean? This means X is in the union of the inverse image of A union with the inverse image of B. So we said that X is in this set, if and only if X is in this set. So these sets must be exactly the same. So therefore, the inverse image of A union B under our function F is the inverse image of A union with the inverse image of B. It's kind of a quick proof, but I'm trying to keep the video length uh, short. I hope this helps.